Working with clouds is always fun. Let's make some in After Effects. The first step is to get your project set up. After that is complete, add a rectangle shape to your composition. Mine is 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second. You can set it up accordingly. Create an oval mask. You might want to reduce the mask expansion a bit. Then we can add a bit of feather. You can adjust the feather as well as the expansion. My mask feather is at 350 and my mask expansion is at a negative 200. Go to the effects panel and add a turbulent displacement effect. Adjust the turbulence amount as well as its size. Make it a bit, make it a bit on the larger side. We now need to make different variations of the clouds. So let's key the evolution factor in order to add variation to its shape. Use this expression, time multiplied by 500. It will multiply the time factor by 500. I'm just going to tweak the turbulence amount a bit and reduce the mass expansion to minus 250. Then in order to affect each of the clouds, let's add an adjustment layer and rename it to turbulent displacement. Add a turbulent displacement effect to the adjustment layer. You need to make it a bit smaller in comparison to the previous displacement effects. An amount value of 50 and a size of around 20-ish should do nicely. Crank up the complexity to 10 as well. Make both of them into a precomp and name it Cloud Precomp for easy readability. Create a new composition with the same Create a new composition with the same settings and put your cloud precomp inside it. We now need to create variations of clouds. So freeze the time of the composition and add a random seed expression to generate random seed every second. Since our composition is only 10 seconds long, we will want to create a random value between 1 and 10. This, however, will throw an error as we are trying to read the name of the composition as an integer value. But it is a string. You can cast it or you can simply change the composition to 1, 2 and so on. Open the composition and add a turbulent displacement effect once again. We are animating the cloud's subtle movement. Keep the evolution variable with an expression of time multiplied by 50 to make a slow evolutionary movement. Add a turbulent noise effect. Please be aware this is a noise effect and not a displacement effect. Set the fractal type to well, cloud. You can increase the contrast and decrease the brightness a bit. We are going to increase it at the end though. Key the evolution with an expression, time multiplied by 70. You can now duplicate the base composition a couple of times. It should be duplicated as 2, 3, 4, etc. Bring them to your main composition and they should all be different from each other. Now it is a matter of bringing it all together in a nice little animation. Create a camera, move the clouds around and animate the path for it. Add a text, scale it, move it, the world's your oyster. I have simply made the gradient background look like the sky. I am pushing my camera through it quite lazily and revealing my text. You might want to bring up the brightness a bit to highlight a lighter sky rather than a gloomy one. And there you have it, a perfectly made cloud. Well, a bunch of perfectly made clouds that you can edit to your heart's content. If you are liking this content, you can help me out by simply liking and subscribing. If not, leave a comment on how I can improve. Bye-bye.